Moving on to uh, let's let's talk through the players, I guess. Now let's talk through these yeah. Vikings and Texans. For the Vikings, Justin Jefferson after last week, his week three blow up is up to wide receiver twenty. Uh, he had nine targets, seven catches for one seventy five and a score against Tennessee. I really think that you're going to see that snap percentage continue to climb. The guy is a beast. I know Alex doesn't agree with me at all, but I don't care. Alex has been wrong about Leonard Fournette. <laughs> pretty pretty Alex much everything. has been wrong about Larry Fitzgerald. Alex I was has right, been wrong uh, no, no, about I was right Alan about Lazard. the Jacksonville. Alex no, was on. wrong when he started Gardner Minshew in his league last week. Alex has just been and wrong. Lance so, and Daniel Jones. But here's the thing. I was correct about the Jaguars running back position. It just didn't matter who it was. So just for clarification there, Justin <laughs> Jefferson flash in the pan one week, one week wonder. Um, next, he he's going to be dropped in every league in like two weeks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> He, he is. Alex, this happens, people are going to turn us off if you keep saying stupid shit. <laughs> this happens every year. This happens every year. Oh like my people God, went out. He's going to be people, dropped league wide. People went out and spent all this oh. money on John Ross the third after week one last year after he had two touchdowns. And three <laughs> weeks later, he was bent. He wasn't even rostered. In pretty much every league, because everybody went out and oh, flash in the pan. This is the guy for the rest of the year. Went out, spent a ton of money. Does and Stephon then he was, he Diggs' did his previous like four years with the Vikings mean anything to you? With the fact that they can support two receivers, like it no. just doesn't matter. No. This is why we're the Sackos, baby. It's why you've been wrong about everything else. You're just going to add. Fine. What do you want to let's No, This is a board bet. We are stopping. This is a board bet. What, where do you think John or Justin Jefferson finishes in receivers overall end of season? You, no. How about you tell me? Uh, 40 or better. He's currently 20. Okay. I'm not going to go wide receiver two. I'll give you 35. What, 30? 35? I'll take 30. 35? I'll take 30. No, do 36 because then that's flex. That's flex or better. 12, 24, 34 spot. I'm not doing it. All I'm saying is he's going to be bad. Fine. I'll do top 30 then. Put it on the board. All right. Justin Jefferson, don't let me down. (laughs) You handsome, devilish man. Hmm. Uh, anything else out of the Vikings other than Adam nope. Thielen Cole absolutely getting destroyed by Justin Jefferson last week. I can't wait to watch it all season long. Nope. Waiting for uh, Delvin cook to get hurt. So Alexander Madison takes over the offense. You've been saying that for four weeks, uh, yep. with the Texans, uh, will Fuller currently wide receiver 35 Brandon cooks all the way down at wide receiver 70 rough, super rough. Um, yeah, mm. hard, kind of hard to start either, but you kind of got to start fuller. Just not super exciting, though. Um, between the two. I don't know what do you have a huge preference between the two of them? I mean, nope, you you're going to take a wild ass guess every single week. I will say that Houston has had a tremendously difficult start to their schedule. So I would expect them to start getting better. Um, playing three of the best teams in the NFL to start your season is, yeah, is Kansas never... City, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh to start is awful. That's rough. So, Things are going to lighten up, though, against many, though. I tell you what, I yeah, wouldn't I would, be surprised I would, if Fuller... Yeah, I would expect, I would expect them to, to get the passing game going and get both of these guys um, going a little bit. Hopefully Randall Cobb stays off the field, but... Yeah. yeah, hopefully, hopefully they both can score a touchdown this week. Um, and as always, you always have the explosiveness of Fuller. He can go crazy one week. There's probably a 40 point week coming at some point. If you can guess the week, then bravo. I would expect Brandon Cooks to be more consistent going forward. But again, I've been wrong in everything. Yeah. Um, who do you without looking? Because I bet you probably have it up. 
Who do you nope. think is currently leading out of the receivers in uh, receiving yardage? Of the, like for the Texans? For the Texans. It's probably Randall Cobb. It is Randall Cobb. 177. Yeah. Fuller has 166. Yeah, Cooks has, has 138. Yeah, he's been he's been the most consistent guy they've had. He, like especially once Cooks went out week one, he got all those targets at the end of the game and has kind of kept that consistency going. Um, Randall freaking Cobb, man, it's crazy. Yeah, Cobb has more receptions than Cooks and one less than Fuller. Hmm. But uh, my interesting stat of the week, also I got all of them. Fun factoids here. David Johnson played 96% of snaps in week three. Wow, that's a lot. He's an RB1. He played against three defenses that were god awful. Um, to play against. Yes, to play against. Like you, just horrible matchups. And he has RB1 workload. I'm honestly trying to buy him low in a ton of leagues just because of that workload. Like, if you're going to play 96% of snaps, are you kidding me? Um, yeah. I thought Duke Johnson was going to be more of a factor here, and he is not. Another thing that Alex was wrong about. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was. <laughs> 